So in my last video, I built a wood burning tool for the CNC, and it worked decently well. Um, I actually had a viewer comment, Andy, there's still a lot of play in the tip of the wood burner. Have you ever thought about scratching the wood burner idea and buying a laser module to then engrave on wood? And funny thing was, is I was actually in the process of buying one and installing it on the CNC when I received that comment. So uh, kudos to that viewer. Um, so in this video, I hope to show you how to install a laser module on your CNC. Um, I'm going to show you how I connected mine and what safety measures I installed on my laser module CNC get up to, to make it all function and make me feel a little bit safer when running it. Um, I should let you guys know I'm not an expert on lasers or CNCs. I know I say that in most of my videos, but I'm really not. So to start this off, I'll show you the laser module I bought. So this is what I bought. It is a 2.5 watt laser module, blue. Um, it also came with these laser glasses that shield the, uh, the wavelength that this produces so it can't hurt your eyes. Um, I felt like these were a little bit too chintzy for my likings. I really do like my eyes and I need them to work to do my job. Um, so instead, I went and bought these, which were a little bit more expensive, um, and they're a lot more substantial, and they seemed to be um, a lot better for what I was doing. I really wanted to protect my eyes in this process. So, um, about the laser module, I've been using it now for a little bit. Uh, 2.5 watts is not powerful enough. I wish I would have gone with a 5 or 8 watt laser. Um, based on all the comments I'm seeing, even though this says it's rated for 2.5 watts, a lot of people say that it actually isn't uh, outputting 2.5 watts. I haven't hooked up a, a multimeter to, to get any sort of data, but I wouldn't be surprised that if this put out less than 2.5 watts. So um, learn from my mistake. If you want to etch into something and you want to do it quickly, I would suggest getting larger than 2.5, but this has been working. Um, in addition to this, I got out the old Ender 3 and I made a um, holder, a laser module holder. Uh, so this will mount to the CNC through these brackets um, and the laser mounts right in this spot and I can connect it using the mounting holes in the back of the laser. Um, I designed this to to provide a little bit of protection for the tip of the laser for two reasons. One, I don't want anything, you know, bumping the tip of the laser and possibly damaging it. So that's why this has a nice cylinder taken out the middle. So it kind of protects the tip of the laser. And then two, uh, this also kind of protects my eyes. So if this laser for some reason would get loose somehow and shoot to the side a bit, it would shoot into the PLA plastic. Um, and I know that isn't a permanent fix. This laser will definitely melt through the PLA plastic after a while, but uh, I think the smoke and flames coming off the PLA will let me know that something's wrong instead of the laser just shooting at my eyes. So that's why I designed it uh, to have this bit of a cylinder coming off the bottom. I also installed this little area down here so I could focus the laser. So there's a little the lens is right here and you can actually turn it back and forth and focus the laser. Um, it lines up really well. In theory, it's a great idea, uh, but I couldn't get my fingers in there and I kind of knew it going forward. So I planned on getting a pair of um, pliers and putting electrical tape on it and then moving it around. Then I realized that was kind of a dumb idea. Um, I basically just figured out how high this laser module is going to be over the work surface that I'm going to work with. I took it out, I set it up, I figured out um, the proper focus based on that length from the work surface, and then I can mount it in my 3D printed holder. Um, and if it's not perfect, it's not a big deal, the CNC machine moves up and down. So I can kind of move the CNC up and down a little bit just to get that the focus perfect so I get the the smallest focal dot and it burns the fastest. So that is the setup that I've made so far. This is probably the, the third or fourth iteration. Um, it took, I don't know, three hours to print. Um, PLA from an Ender 3, 30% uh, fill for any of you 3D printing nerds out there. 
I did it on like extra coarse settings. I want to just get this printed. It doesn't have to be pretty. So you can see layer lines on it. But um, it works. Works really well. So now that you've seen how all of these parts work or how they, they go together, I'm actually going to show you what I did to the control panel so I can hook this up. So this is my rat's nest of a control panel. I built a few of them. Every time I swear I'm going to make them cleaner and nicer, and I never do. But uh, despite how this looks, it actually works very well. I've gone into uh, the workings of this control panel in a different video and how it controls the CNC. So I'm not going to talk about that. I'm just going to discuss how I changed it to work with the laser module. So before we talk about the laser module, there's a few things we should discuss with the control panel and the software. So first, my control panel does use an Arduino Uno with a Gerbil shield. And that powers everything. Um, the software that I'm using is called Laser Gerbil. Um, and it turns any Gerbil device, Gerbil CNC device, into a CNC laser engraver. And my laser is an on-off laser, so it's 0% on or 100% on. There's nothing in between. There's different control boards you can get for the laser modules that allow them to do pulse width modulation or TTL, which allows the laser to be, you know, 10% on or 30% on or 80% on whatever you like, and it allows you to achieve a grayscale picture. Um, I didn't do that, I just wanted it on and off. I'm not going to be doing detailed uh, grayscale images with mine. So with that in mind, uh, the laser gerbil sends an on-off command to the gerbil shield on the Arduino, and that is one of these blue wires, and this blue wire comes over to this solid state relay, which I got off Amazon, and the solid state relay um, switches power on and off to the laser module. So this right here powers the laser module, or it allows power to go to the laser module. Um, my control panel is wired for 24 volt DC internal control power. Um, the laser module uses 12 volts, so I installed this little buck converter down here and this knocks my 24 volts down to I did like 12.5 I figured there's some voltage drop from here to the to the laser module I added extra a lot of extra wire um, so th that's what I've changed I'll throw up a, an image of what that looks like on the screen so that basically summarizes everything that I've done to this control panel to get it ready for a laser module and it really wasn't much this was pretty easy I was surprised how quickly this all went together so um, don't be too frightened so this is laser gerbil I have it connected to my machine already and I'm gonna kinda show you how I import images and how I change them into laser files uh, G codes probably a better term so first you go to file and open and then this file pop pops up and Batman because everybody loves Batman so this is just an image it's a JPEG um, and down here you can kinda change the contrast make sure you don't confuse the computer on what's supposed to be dark and what's not um, if you're doing grayscale images so if you have a pulse width modulation or a TTL laser module the contrast is probably more important I have an on off module so I just need black and I need white I don't need any gray um, you can do uh, dithering, you can vectorize it, which basically just traces the outline, um, and that's kind of cool, so let's do that. And once you get that all set up, um, you can hit next, and then here it tells you how big do you want to make this. So we're going to do a small one, uh, let's do, just for the sake of doing stuff, let's do 60 millimeters, oops, sorry. 60 millimeters and um, you select a speed in millimeters per minute. Uh, I think 500 is too fast for this puny little 2.5 watt. So let's do two, no, let's do 150. We're going to be a little conservative here. So this is what turns the laser on, which is the M3 command and the M5 command turns it off. So that's everything here. You hit create. Bam. So this is what it looks like in Laser Gerbil, and it's ready to go.
So this is what it looks like. Overall, I think it looks really good. It's got sharp lines. Um, there's a few places where it's a little bit light and that can be fixed pretty easily. All we have to do is change the speed at which the CNC moves the laser module. I think we set it at 150 millimeters per minute. If we moved it down to, let's say 130, all of these light spots would be good. So easy fix. Um, overall, very happy with how this project turned out. Um, the laser module, not necessarily the Batman symbol. Um, I don't have anything against Batman, uh, unless you're Ben Affleck. Then no offense, man, not the best. Um, but, uh, thought this project went really well. Again, I am not an expert on this. Uh, it's just a hobby for me, really like it. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, comment, subscribe, like, do all that good stuff. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day.